Disputatio is the medieval practice of disputing. And it arises in monastic circles around the time of St. Anselm. It gets taken up into medieval universities and becomes a key academic exercise that people have often compared to jousting in tournaments for knights. The structure looked something like this. The master, who was the sort of teacher for the class, would propose a question. So something like, do animals have free will? And then a student is selected from the class to be the one who's conducting the dispute. The student is then responsible for fielding arguments for and against the question from the rest of the students. So the student has to show the ability to be able to respond both to arguments uh, against his own position, but also to be able to identify in arguments for his position problems with reasoning that he can't accept, where he says this argument, in fact, is not something that I can really um, accept even though I agree with the position myself. The exercise concludes with what's known as a determinatio or determination by the master, who then summarizes the views that are uh, set forth and gives the reasons for the disagreement among both sides and lays out a more nuanced position. So these disputatio uh, exercises could be conducted in private within a classroom, or they could be open to all members of a faculty within a particular school. And twice a year, there was a public disputatio, which was known as a quad libet, from quad libet in Latin, whatever you wish, in which any member of the audience could come in and pose the question. And the master would have to dispute the question um, whatever it may be, with no notice ahead of time. There are some important things that we could learn from the medieval practice of disputatio today. The virtue of the medieval disputatio is that it's able to shine a light on the source of the disagreement and allow for a very nuanced development of a position in response to a problem that's due, I think, to its very carefully structured format. The question is very narrowly focused, and even though it's set up as a yes or no question, the bachelor, the disputant, was expected to provide a much more nuanced response. Why do we say yes? or Why do we say no? And the determination is particularly set up at the end to lay bare the roots of the disagreement and to show what fundamental commitments are at stake that motivate different positions on the topic. And I think that's something that we can really do better when we disagree with each other. In debating with somebody, I think one of the most important things is to slow down and not jump right away to argumentation against whatever it was they just said. But to take the time, it can take a very long time, and it's worth doing, to work out exactly what it is that they're trying to say, why they're saying it, what's motivating them, what do they see as something that's important and insightful about this position that they're defending? And look for the common ground. See if there's a place that you can find to both agree on where you can start the discussion.